Socks, check. Hoodie, check. Shorts, check. Nike, I done made about a million and I'm only 19. I see water dripping on a white tee. The shorty got a man, but she's saying wife me. I got chest coming in like a pair of Nikes. If I like it, then you know I'm finna get it. Get the bag and then I flip it. Watch me do it. All the mall, my wrist going stupid. Tryna put them on, but they never do it. Stripes, said it's alright. Then I cut her off. Shorty stepped on my off whites. Okay, now wait, wait, wait. Gotta get the bag and racks every day. Don't tell me to relax, I can't. I'm gonna say, got a new press, those in the J's in the way. Got a new wrist watch, but it don't take time. I pull up on a hop if it's talking too hot. And you wanna play ball, hit a three point shot. Or this my court, got a block on lock. I done made it by the million and I'm only 19. I see water dripping on a white tee. And Shorty got a man, but she's saying, wife me. I got chest coming in like a pair of Nike. If I like it, then you know I'm finna get it. Just do it. Get the bag and then I flip it, watch me do it All the mom, my wrist going stupid Tryna put them on, but they never do it They're like, hold up, wait a minute, like, don't make sense, don't really get it I'm steady, getting to the chicken, that tasty finger licking chicken I mean, I'm getting to the good guap, keep a rack in my socks Diamonds cost me a lot, Nike check up all of my socks Hey, hey yo Nike check Tonight from SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California. It's the NFC Championship game. Angeles Rams. Hello, everyone. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The postseason continuing here on EA Sports. And man, it is electric in here, and it should be conference championship time. I don't know about you.
one on first down with Akers. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. It's a gain of five. Brings up second. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. He'll get this to Akers. Had a backfield. And he works it to the 30-yard line. Here right at the 30. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. They'll run a draw now with Akers. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Second and six. This will be caught inside the 10. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the five. A nice gain of 21 yards. His passing has been on point on this drive, hasn't it? Been very accurate. Got the ball downfield, gained nice chunks of yardage. But now, in this situation, the field is really condensed, partner. So if he's going to throw the football, that would be pinpoint here. As I was going to ask you about that. Field shrinks, has to be sharper, but it's been a good opening drive so far. Now they just want to see if they can cap it off with the bell ringer and put it in the end zone. They'll run here with Akers. And he takes it across for the Rams. Touchdown. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Rams take it right down and score on the opening drive. One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first. An ideal drive right there, getting the first six points of the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator? Oh, yeah. What he told us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script to probe in the early part of the game. Other teams, I script to attack. They've been in attack mode for these ball games and continue that in this one. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. It's up, it's good, and the Rams take a 7-0 lead. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it was Cam Akers who capped it off with a touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Takes this about five yards deep, and no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. So out come the Bucks now for their first drive. And they'll be let out by the man running the show, Charles, their quarterback. And we can talk all we want about football being a team game and leaning on different parts and aspects in order to get it done. And that's entirely true during the regular season. Some weeks it's the defense, the special teams running the football. But in the playoffs, all the pressure reverts to the quarterback, and he has to play well and play at a really high level in order for his team to win. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. And it's third down. Third and two, Farley. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away, incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. So on now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to punt this one away. on the punt there. And the Rams will be backed up deep to begin the drive as they take over first and ten. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes. But I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, well, I'm I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly. And that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, 
held their spot and stacked him up. They'll wind up losing three yards here, and that's going to lead to a third and 11. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. The Bucks with an extra defender now in the secondary here on third down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. They'll find Bryant, his tight end, it's complete. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. They'll need to come from behind if they want to play in two weeks as they trail early in this NFC Championship game. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. On first down, it's Gibson, and he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. A quick first down pickup. Good start after going three and out on their opening drive. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. He's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers, and they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. On first and ten, Farley, and the Rams got it. They bring him down. A loss of five yards. It's second down. Doesn't come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. Soon this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. From the gun, Farley. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll be brought down right at the 45 yard line. Number 85. It's a gain of six. And it's on third down, Farley. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. I think the punter might start to get into a pretty good rhythm here if he keeps getting opportunities. But that's the last thing his team wants to have happen, right? The last thing you want to see is your punter feeling pretty good because he's out there all the time. Yeah, first quarter only, but they're 0 for 2 on third down conversions to start this thing. L.A. set to take over again on offense. And they will start this drive with just terrible field position backed up inside their own five. But we have seen teams be bold here and take shots, right? Sometimes you go max protection, make it a one-receiver route, and take your shot downfield and see what happens. And occasionally, we've seen success occur. It was Sebastian Joseph who got him down defensively. Yard line. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and on second down. Akers, and he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. Cam Akers. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. A two-yard pickup brings up third and six. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game, but it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Good coverage there, 
even 50-yard punt leads to a return of five. And that will come the offense as they take over. Now the Buccaneers offense gets ready to head back onto the field. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And brings up second and nine. Operating from the gun, Farley. That's caught by Howard. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. From the gun, Farley. And he's going to drop this one down to Gibson. And he will get this to the midfield strike, but that's not going to be enough. He's a few yards short. Five yards on the pickup, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. Here's Bradley Pinion now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. The Rams take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. And the Rams getting set to go now. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. and He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, I, I know how to beat that. And that's what he did. At the 34-yard line. A gain of four. It's not play action. They'll throw. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. So much about defending the pass is being able to be right there at the moment the ball gets to the receiver. And he was right in his hip pocket, helping force that incompletion. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. First down as they're able to get the third down conversion. His fourth catch already in this first quarter. It's a first down. Some think that teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. A couple of first downs has the football positioned at the 43 as they come up first and 10. Here's Akers. And this has been a recurring theme tonight for sure. Nowhere to run. Back to the line of scrimmage, that's all. Right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Brings up second. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. Brings up third down and 10. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And he fires one that's intercepted. Carlton Davis picks it. And a super return as he gets us all the way down inside the 25-yard line. You're looking there, the defensive back was maybe a step slower than he was when he came into the league a decade ago. I know I question his speed coming into the game, but what he's lost in speed, he's more than made up for it with intellect. And that's a great job of knowing how to position himself to make that interception. 
And Tampa Bay trots out there now. They were forced to punt last time. Now I doubt sincerely that they'll have to punt here because they're gifted with terrific field position. I don't even want to think about the idea that they would end up punting starting with this type of field position. Neither do they. Great starting spot. Great opportunity to run your full playbook. They want to take a shot here. They can go ahead and do it. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the 19-yard line. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Rams seven, Buccaneers nothing. And they'll try the jet sweep here, and he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. From the gun on third down, Farley. And he finds Howard complete. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, like hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. Austin Seibert sets up for the field goal try. From the left hash, this from 34. Seibert's kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7 to 3. Buccaneers 3. So they recovered the fumble, but ultimately could not take advantage of the short field. Definitely a lost opportunity right there. I mean, they were in prime position to put six on the board. Ended up settling for three. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Here comes the field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know, the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for him, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. Brings up second and three at the 30-yard line. Four receivers in the formation here. Three to the left, one to the right, second and three. Throw caught left side and past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 11 yards there, first down. How about this throw right here? Had to throw it to the left sideline, and you know the timing's got to be correct on this one. Ball's got to be right where it needs to be, and it was. That's because he had great arm strength on that one, able to drive the football. Quarterbacks love it when they can show off their arms. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And that's caught by the tight end, Bryant. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. A gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard. And on second down now, Akers. And this has been a recurring theme tonight for sure. Nowhere to run. Back to the line of scrimmage, that's all. No he did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. They'll try and run for this with Akers. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. It'll be a pickup of just two, and it'll move the chains. They had yet to run the ball at all on this drive, but third and short, Definitely was a great time to dial one up. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Picketter here, it's complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. 
first and ten at the 38-yard line. They'll look to throw. Try here for Bryant, and it's intercepted. Picked up there at the 42. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. Build second straight drive now here, Charles, that have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, I also wonder if it's going to unnerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one? Or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Ram territory. He's just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Brings up second and two. Operating from the gun, Farley. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. When you run in the slant, timing is everything, and against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. The Bucks on third down, not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This time they face a third and two. From the gun, Farley, they'll roll him out right. He may try and run for this. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down. At least it appears that way. And he got it by maybe the length of a football. But nowhere to throw it, decided to scramble. And a nice job, CD. Got the yardage that he needed. Yeah, and his teammates are certainly going to appreciate that effort, even if his coaches don't, because they would have wanted him to slide and protect himself. But he chose team gain over personal protection. They'll run on first down. Gibson. And he's going to be met at about the 43. A gain of three, second down. A three-yard pickup. Brings up second and seven. They'll try the left side. It's Gibson. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. A gain of 13, it's a first down. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle doesn't mean he doesn't have run blocking abilities. And we just saw it there. Controlled the line of scrimmage, created a big gain. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he dance, he can mash too. On first down. Gibson, a short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Gain of a yard. Brings up second. Operating from the gun. Farley. He finds his tight end, Howard. That's complete. Farley's pass. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. And he is going to have a box first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. And this is good for a first down, his second grab of this NFC Championship bout. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Open man is Howard, the tight end. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Not much there, only a yard. Brings up second and nine. That's a throw on second down. Farley. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. A gain of 4 on the play, and that'll make it third down. Third down. Again, he'll drop the throw. And they're going to get him. They bring him out of the sack back at the 16-yard line. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop, and they can often hit big, but sometimes they take too long to develop, and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, you know, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? Typically a blitz, and even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen, now that allows your blitzers to get there. 33-yard attempt. 
Seibert able to knock this one through. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. Seven to six. Buccaneers, 6. So a dozen plays on that drive CD, but in the end, it yields just the three points. Well, they were able to keep the defense on the field for a long time, but let's be honest about it. That's about as unsatisfying a drive as you're going to get. 12 plays and you only get three points out of it. Not quite the ending they were looking for. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And the interception last time on the opponent's side of the field, certainly not what they wanted. Put it mildly, that is so frustrating because that signifies there's a drive going on. You're in good spot, great place to run some of your best offense. Instead, they turn the ball over. They turned the ball over last time. See if they can avoid doing it here. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards and moves the sticks. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And that is incomplete. Here now is second and 10, again for the 41. It leads to second and 10. Pressure too much. Down he goes. Down and sack. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. The blink of an eye. That happened fast and a big sack. The Rams on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and 16. partner and I'm not laughing at the situation but sometimes you just get yourself into a rut it's hard to shake yourself out of it the attention shifting back to Chris Godwin and the rest of the Tampa offense a chance maybe here for them to get him more involved they're down here on the scoreboard and he's been very quiet and the silence has been deafening for his team they don't need that at all they need fireworks they need explosive plays they need him touching the football in any way possible maybe go to some jet sweeps anything to get him going or something to get in the ball we'll see if they can do it a gain of six there on first brings up second and four at the rams 33 looking to throw on second down finally and he's going to be taken down pressure gets there back at the 39 yard line I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. The Bucks on third down. Lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. This is third and ten. Back to throw, Farley, and he's going to go down again. I remember when I was a kid and all I wanted was a nickel so I could get that soda down at the fountain. And guess what? The nickel came into play well. Five defensive backs, they covered well, allowed for the sacks. Sodas were a nickel when you were a kid? No, I just needed the extra nickel so, oh. I, could pay the, so I could pay the proper price. Okay, how much were they, a dime? <laughs> what were they? Uh, 15 cents. Here's Bradley Pena now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. The Rams take over first and 10. 
at their own 20. Now out comes their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field. On one hand, as we look at some of his struggles with the three interceptions, he's got to be upset. On the other hand, they're still winning this game. So how does he take care of the ball the rest of the game? That's what his teammates are interested in because they pick things up for him throughout. you got to look over the defensive side, the kicking game. Those guys have made it work for him. Now his goal, not mess up anything else down the stretch. Yeah, forget about those three picks, move on. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was felt also by the defense. On second down, Akers. And he'll take this one up close to the 25-yard line. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Makes it third and eight. Out of the gun now on third down. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Back to throw. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Brings up second and two at the 43-yard line. Now a throw here on second down, and that's complete. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest ones, maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. Here we go on second and 12. Well, throw complete to Cam Akers. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. Now the Bucs going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And not what he was hoping for there as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. The attention shifting back to Chris Godwin and the rest of the Tampa offense. Hasn't had his best day to this point here in the second quarter, and they're losing. You got to think, though, that also means that maybe the defense doing a good job on him. There's two sides to that coin. I would agree, so you have to give them credit, but that means you've got to find a way to beat that defense and make sure one of your top playmakers touches the football and has an impact on the game. Change formations, change where he lines up, put him in motion anything possible to shake him free. Maybe that greater impact comes here on this drive. And he'll get this to Antonio Gibson complete. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. Well, he gets attended to, we'll step aside. down Farley and that's going to be incomplete too tough to hold on to that one it's second down leads to second and 10 at the 35 yard line throwing again Farley and he can't get rid of it he's taken down and we talk about players blitzing all the time I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight ahead pursuit what a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. He 
These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Not wanting to risk another sack, they'll play it safe with a run. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. So we've reached halftime here in the NFC Championship. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, Brandon, thanks. As always, what half remains in the battle to see who will take home that George Hallis Trophy and represent the NFC in the Super Bowl? We'll get back to you guys in just a moment. But first, let's look back to the AFC Championship game held earlier today. And believe it, it is the Cleveland Browns who are heading to the Super Bowl as they await the winner of this NFC Championship game. So with that, let's get you right back out for the second half as one of these teams will represent the NFC in the Super Bowl. To find out who, let's turn it back over to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Hallis Trophy still hangs in the balance as the second half now underway in the NFC Championship game. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. First and 10. And they're on. There he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. And boy, Charles, they have to find a way to just get him some time to breathe back there. He's been pressured throughout this game. And I'll bet in his mind he's thinking the focus shouldn't be on how many times I've gone down. It's where is it happening? Where are the breakdowns up front? They'll never say it publicly because good leaders don't do that. But they've got to figure out what's happening in the offensive line to keep people away from him so he actually has a chance to throw the football because so far, that has not been the case. Five full sacks against him. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. From the gun, Farley. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. There are a lot of different formulas to winning football, but one constant over the years, winning on third down. That pickup there was big because they had struggled throughout this one. From the 32 now, here's first and ten. Play action. Farley. The battle for it, and it's intercepted. Picked off by David Long. And he will bring it back. It's an interception return for the Rams touchdown. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. Extra point. Extra point. And it's up. It's good. Our score, 14 to 6. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. 23-yard line. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. And, Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. 
And they're able to get this one across the 35. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Now left side on the swing pass. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. Boy, how good has this defense been seemingly all game long? I really think right from the first snap, I think you're really on to something there. In this passing game, it just can't get off the ground. In that play, it wound up losing yardage. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Looking to throw. Farley. Man open left side is Brown. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. Here's Bradley Pinion now, as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down close to the goal line at the one-yard line. Amazing. Perfectly placed. If that ball goes one extra yard, maybe not even an extra yard, the starting point is the 20. So there is a reason that a lot of punters are also excellent golfers. They know distance control. You know what else they have? Same groove motion over and over. Once they have that down, it repeats under pressure. Back to throw now in his own end zone. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Give him nine there on the first down completion. A gain of nine brings up second and one at the nine-yard line. On second down now, Akers. And they'll bring him down right around the 13. You'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. They'll run here with Akers. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down for a nice little gain. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Brings up second and four. Second and four. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. He's up north of 100 yards receiving now in this NFC Championship game. And it's a first down. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. He was covered by Antoine Winfield. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. They face a third and four after that last completion gets them six. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. And he's going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. Continuing to steadily move the ball down the field. Not big play after big play, but these moderate gains getting him first downs. And you know what they add up to, right? If you continue that pace and you continue to move it downfield, they add up into six points. That's exactly what you're looking for. They'll run on first down. Akers. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. He was brought down at the 45-yard line. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. They'll go again here with Akers. And he's able to get across midfield and down into Buccaneer territory. He's across midfield. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football 
sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it, it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down at a yard. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. Here's Johnny Hacker now. He's been terrific so far. This one angles out of bounds in a good spot in the coffin corner. They're going to mark this out of the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line, absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. Throwing on first down, Farley. Oh, that is going to be a safety. Well, I think you can go ahead and give your putter an assist on that one. Pinned him deep, and the defense comes through with two points. You're exactly right, partner. This was all set up by a great punt, and if the ball goes in the end zone, this never happens. So great call. Give the punt team and the punter some love. So free kick situation forthcoming from the 20 as they'll punt this one away. Here's Tate to return it. That's the way to make it work, kid. So now here are the Rams as their offense comes back out. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. A gain of five brings up second. They'll keep it on the ground. Akers, not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. A gain of a yard on the play brings up third and four. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Craig. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. A short gain that doesn't get him the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he's on to punt for L.A. Was looking for the checkup, bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. Back now comes Tampa Bay. And Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. Well, here's a good way to kick off a drive, complete over the middle. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That's a good way to start the drive, 17 yards and a first down. Oh, that was a pretty route right there because it's all about finding a window on a route like that. He lined up on his left, ran the deep in route over the middle, and the ball was right where it needed to be. Really good trust between quarterback and receiver. Really good completion. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. Operating from the gun, Farley. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Seven yards, the pick up there. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible, hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. 
Here's the option. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. No gain on the play. Brings up third. From the gun. Finally. And he's got it. And he is going to have a box first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 32-yard line. Operating from the gun, Farley. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Three yards the gain there, second down. Number 16. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. From the gun, Farley. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by David Moore. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. So their woes on offense continue. That's the second pick thrown here in the third quarter. And we know it was ill-advised, but that was an opportunity to help them get back into the game. Instead, he throws another interception, and now their task is even tougher. And the Rams now coming out on the field. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Brings up second and two at the 41-yard line. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Now a toss running left, Akers. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. And the box with an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And in enemy territory last time through the interception, we'll see what they do on this drive. Can't wait to see how it alters what they decide to do in play calling. Do they continue to throw the ball? Do they want to lean more on the running game? It'll be an interesting sequence of plays that they've got coming up. Does it often affect the play calling with the interception? How much does that change what you do? I think it does depending on why the interception was thrown. Sometimes it's just a matter of the defense made a great play, so you continue to come back. But if it's on you, if the offense just doesn't have the confidence, if they're a little bit shaky, maybe try and take the pressure off and run the ball a little bit. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. It's a gain of two yards. To throw on third down. Farley will set up the screen for Gibson. And they will rally and stop him short of the first down. They get him to the ground at the 26. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. Here's Bradley Pinion now, as he'll come on to kick for a six time tonight. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Yeah. 
One quarter remains until the NFC crowns its champion. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And the pieces have fallen into place to this point. They've got a two-score lead in the fourth quarter. A berth to the Super Bowl resting on their ability to see this one through to the end. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted.